we're here. Welcome back to Shade Tree Projects. Today we're going to be testing pellets. Everybody knows I enjoy shooting things. And I've really got into my air gun. Uh, this is a Gamo Shadow Whisper. Uh, it's a .177. And uh, we'll be using two Gamo pellets and one Crossman pellet. And our first shots will be at 20 yards. And we'll be testing for accuracy. I'll shoot. I was going to shoot three. Maybe I'll shoot four. I don't know. Uh, but we'll have a dead center point And we'll see if they fall. Or what each pellet does differently. We'll do it at 20 yards. We'll do it at 40 yards. And then we'll have a penetration test. So stick with me. This should be fun. It'll tell me which pellet I should shoot squirrels with. And I'll get right back to you. All right, here we go. Our first pellet will be the Gamo Red Fire. We're going to fire three to four shots. We'll just see how it goes. And I'll get the camera set up down there. Let me turn you how far we're shooting. See down there? Um, I'll get you set up down there so you can see the shots. And I'll come back up here and do the shooting. All right, let me go get the camera moved. All right, as you can see, we shot five shots. One, two, three, four, five. And they're definitely smaller than a dip can. Uh, probably about the size of a 50 cent piece. And that's at 20 yards. I'm gonna put the dots on here so it's all black again. And we'll try the next pellet, which is the Gamo Silent Cats. It's, their hunting pellet. It's the heaviest pellet we got. So hang on, I'll get this target redone.
All right, as you can see, with the uh, Gamo uh, Silent Cat, which is their heaviest pellet, or for for this caliber anyway, um, are they Premier Hunter? Is that that's their Hunter one? It's not Premier though. Uh, got four shots placed really well. First shot was great. We have one wanderer, a straggler, that went down here. But the pattern seems to be better for the five shots on the red. Now we had four that grouped tight, but one wanderer. But these four grouped tighter than these. But this one was a wanderer. So I'll get the stickers put on this and we'll try the crossman. So hang with me. All right, as you can see, it definitely outperformed the Gamo pellets, severely outperformed them. Uh, wow, I didn't think that would happen. That's a lead-free pellet. It's got a plastic tail and a steel front, and they call them extreme penetrators. But even right here, you can see they all went, there you go, it was a, okay, so Crossman won round one, we'll get set up for the 40 yard shot, which I don't think any of them will perform well there, but we'll give it a shot. At the 40 yards, and here's our target. And this is how far away 40 yards is. I'm going to have to zoom in on it. See the bench up there? That's where we'll be shooting from. Can't even see it from here. All the way down to here. And we're going to start with the Gulf Flights first. Because they were the winners of the last round. So hang with me and I'll get everything set up.
Now, okay, that was five shots at 40 yards. And you can see three shots placed here. One, two, three, size of your finger, tip of your finger. And then two shots placed up here. I don't know the difference. I guess it could be in the gun because we are using a, you know, a, a barrel cocking gun. But we were tight here for three shots and tight here for two. But the drop is... All right, it's easy to see. They're terrible. At 40 yards, we only had one hit the target and we were aiming here. And it hit there. The rest of them, one, two, three, four, all shot lower. You guys probably saw it on the camera better than I did from up there. That's terrible. I wouldn't, at 40 yards, they are no way on target. You're talking eight inches, uh, six inches, six to eight inches. The farthest would be eight, and the, I guess the closest would be around five drop at 40 yards. And remember, with the with the the crossmans, we were aiming at this one, not that one, this one, and there was our pattern. Something to think about. Now we're going to go to the reds, the red fires, and I'm going to go back to aiming at this because if they fall like this dramatically, I won't be able to see. All right, let me get her set up. Well, as you guys can see, at 40 yards. No go. Uh, I hit once right here, and I aimed here at the top of the target. So that concludes the accuracy test. Uh, the goal flights are way, way more accurate, and and they shoot d tight patterns at both 20 and 40 yards. I. I can't believe Gammo's pellets don't shoot any better out of a Gammo gun. All right, let's get to the penetration test. All right, our first test is going to be at 20 yards with just a Folgers, plastic Folgers coffee can. And my prediction on this is that the silent cats, even though you can't shoot them at 40 yards, or the red fires, you cannot shoot them at 40 yards to kill a squirrel or even backyard plinking. You can't even hit a dang Coke can at that distance. But I believe the silent cats are going to win the penetration test at 20 yards. So we're going to start with Folgers can. We'll shoot each one of them. And we'll see one time. I mean, we'll give them two shots apiece. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll give them two shots apiece. And we'll see which ones can penetrate the Folgers can at 20 yards. Let me get the camera set up and we'll be on it. Okay, that was three shots. And this time, only one pellet. Didn't travel completely through. As you can see right... The red dot is the only one that mushroomed out enough not to pass through. The other two, as you can see, passed through. That was right there, that hole. I don't know if you... All right, um, as you can see, we're back inside. We did our shooting, and uh, to be honest, the pellet that did the worst was the red fire. Let me hold it so everybody can see it. Was the red fire. Uh, I've killed 
so many squirrels and so many rabbits with that round. That is the round I hunt with. But I bought these other rounds hoping to find, I don't know, something better. And uh, let me tell you the findings I found. Okay, the worst round we shot today was the red fire. And that's the one I hunt with. So the gamo red fire was the worst of the three. As far as uh, accuracy goes, uh, it, without a doubt, is the Crossman Golden Flight. This is a very accurate pellet at, and you don't have to change your aim point or nothing at 40 yards to 20 yards. And it shoots groups, dime sized groups. Well, you guys saw them. It's okay, we'll even, we'll exaggerate a little. It shoots quarter size groups, and you can't beat that. Okay, as far as penetration goes. They say it's a supreme penetrator. Yes, it does penetrate. Problem is, is when we shot them into the plastic uh, Folgers can, it didn't mush. It didn't uh, mushroom out. Where the red did mushroom out. Okay, now let's go to these silent cats. This is Gamo's premier hunting pellet, the silent cat. It's the heaviest of the group. And you saw it dropped almost 8 inches, maybe even more, at 40 yards. And it was shooting, I mean, if you sighted in your gun for 20, which it was shooting low at 20, but if you sighted your gun in for 20, it would still shoot 8 inches low at 40. So, but as far as penetration goes, it penetrated just as good as, as the Gulf Lights. The only problem I found with this gun, or with this pellet, was accuracy. It's, it's not very accurate uh, at all. Uh, you guys can see from the video. It, it's just not an accurate pellet. And I could not tell the mushroom because it and the Gulf Lights shot clean through. So, and when we went to the steel, shooting through the steel, they both shot through the steel. So they both have the same penetrating power. So if I was going to buy a pellet, which I did buy pellets, but if I'm going to buy pellets to hunt with, I'm going to have to suggest to you use the Gold Flights from Crossman. I got to shoot some animals with them to see if for sure they are the better pellet. Because I don't know without that mushroom what's going to happen. And as far as, as the silent cat goes, because we've ruled out the red fires, which I shot a lot of animals with. I've found four pellets already in just this little test that will not fit in the gun. They're Gamo .177 pellets. I'm shooting a Gamo gun, and the pellet is too big to fit in the gun. It will not go into the barrel so I don't know maybe I just got a bad batch of pellets I don't know but in short that's it so if you like this video share it with somebody you know if you didn't like it share it with them to drive them crazy if they're a pellet gun guy uh, hit them up see if I'm wrong or right and if I'm wrong tell them to come tell me I'm wrong I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll catch you uh, on the next video.